I've got a flow issue with the injector, so we're actually gonna go down. So let's go to overboost. Let's see, we got 11.5. We're gonna go down to like, let's say 8.5. It's been feeling good, except for a couple of times it's uh, it's fighting me. It's wanting to like, just blah, 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 just bog. So it could be injector, I don't know. Troubleshooting a couple of things. So he said we're just gonna go like three wide, and he's gonna go like far right lane, and he's gonna honk it off about 50 mile an hour, okay? Okay. All right, cool. All right, so we're going three or four deep. All of these are uh, twin turbo cars like mine, but we're all gonna be on different boost settings. So I've got mine down fighting a little bit of, I think an injector issue. Uh, it seems to be happy beneath 10 pounds and then after that it's almost like it's a fueling issue the car is just like bucking around at 11 pounds or so so it doesn't do it all the time but uh, today it has so we don't want to go through an engine so we want to be as safe as possible but we're on our way to Mexico God bless it's still doing it now we're gonna have to take it down that means we're gonna get definitely beat that feels good. Alright, so eight and a half pounds, took the doji cycle down. I don't know if that makes a difference, but that felt pretty good. actually my first time in Mexico if you want to call it that that felt pretty good they definitely got the hit so let's see if we can do this again these big turbos take a minute when they hit they hit I'm gonna up the boost a little bit You got the hit. I took it down to about eight and a half and took the duty cycle down, which is interesting because the car didn't do any of what it was doing earlier today. It felt like strong, real good. You me at about 145. I'm gonna say, y'all looked over, y'all looked like y'all was pretty close there. Yeah. Could you guys pull up quick though? Yeah. I know what. He went, I gotta watch the footage again. You went and I was like, oh my God, I fell asleep because I just did that, that thing yeah. that we were doing. So it takes a second. I'm just trying to get it like open. I didn't have it in the gear at all to go. Uh, I was just flooring and having a farm. It was farm as hell. Yeah. That's a good time. Boys, three wide. You passed me about 145. I wasn't even looking. Yeah. Because <laughs> I got greedy and brake boosted. I was like, I'm going to get out on them. At least a car and make it a race. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> in the video, you can see you come right up on it. Was if I wouldn't have lifted off, it would have been bad. <laughs> but I was thinking, I was like, I was like, I was like this motherfucker. Because I was like, you know what I just thought about? About halfway on the ride out through there, I was like, 
ain't a, a dude here let any pressure out of their tires. I was like, I know mine are 30 plus. No, well, yeah, mine are 30 plus right did now too. Did you look pretty okay though? Uh, it's questionable. What gear did you go out of? I have no idea. You <laughs> left and then I was like, I gotta go. You know, like you got the hit. You were gone. Did you go out of <laughs> I was gonna say it took you like yeah. yeah. a second to go. So back. I was, I guess, in like tenth gear. <laughs> yeah, he was gone. And I was like, I gotta catch him. You gotta get to where you go and select shift, and then it's like forty-five hundred. Turn select shift off and let it. So this is my first time in Mexico. Yep. So I'm a rookie. Were you still in it when I passed you? Yes. Really? So you came around me and then because like, I came around you hard as f dude. Yeah. That's like I said, the fifty-fives they have no topping. This thing was just getting happy about when I passed you. My 55s, you. like yeah. I said, my cars are, are going to be a tough car to beat from 40 to 140. You passed me to almost 150 miles. Yours is smoking like crazy, too. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen that. But it was dumping it. Oh, black. not white. Black. Oh, white. Black. No. Black. A lot of smoke. Nice. No, I didn't know that. But it didn't happen until you let out. Also, I'm going to be honest with you, normally I go on two, but I, try, I tried to make it fair. I went on, on three. I go on three, not after three. You were like, beep, beep, and then I shifted. So, no, I was trying to go like on two, get it to, to freaking go down, do the little trick. It didn't work out at all. Are you still stock converter? Yes. He's a good dude, man. Yeah. Built motor or not? No. Stock, yeah. He's just practicing getting the hang of what he wants to take off in. Right, right. No sweet spot of where they pull the quickest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm still learning the car, unfortunately. I'm, it's crazy. I, I, uh, I took the boost down, and then I was like, you know what? I wonder if Duty Sack has anything to do with this. I don't know why it would. It was a 45 for for 11.5 pounds of boost to get on a 35. That car, I mean, it, didn't do that no, it felt fine. I don't get it. So guys, 55 millimeter turbos here, twins. It's an on three kit, 2017 Mustang. Uh, it's got dumps and he's on no controller. So he's on gate pressure, which for him is a 12 pound spring. And he's making somewhere in the ballpark of close to 800 wheel that pass that time was eight and a half pounds uh trying to figure out the controller yes i got beat but well i came around him hard so i guess i didn't lose i came in second but it doesn't matter uh we're in mexico and look federales are over there but um i would guess that's probably around 750 wheels so i was definitely making less power i think and then he had his turned up so i think the lowest what's the lowest that you can turn yours down to 10 10 you have a controller or is it just that's your gate pressure? That's uh I got a boost control. That's my yeah, gate, pressure. gate pressure. That's he just my says gate He's got the springs the yeah, yeah okay, I got seven pounds. Got it, I understand. So lowest amount that he could go down to is about ten pounds, so that's definitely about nine hundred wheel. All of these cars are on E eighty five, so yeah, we're not totally playing it fair, but he moved out. Had I turned mine up, but we had a little bit of bucking earlier, so I wanted to back things down because I didn't want to do something bad to an engine but yeah this car is uh basically a similar setup fuel systems e85 i got 64 67s in this twins lpf kit this is a hell horse performance kit on three kit i'll see you man we drove this car earlier i'm really impressed with how this thing feels man the little like 55 in the video a little 55 spool is this thing still on a certain point it's gonna be a tough yeah. car to handle it's a great it's a great like daily yeah setup yeah man i wish that, that... Car right there well, his car and my car are very similar. Yeah, I'm sure if you, I mean, you all basically have a similar kit. So, so he left with the, he was doing that with about a pound and a half, maybe two pounds more. Yeah, but he also probably hit three seconds before you. Yes, he did. So. Yeah, he was gone. There was no catching him. But I mean, oh no. But his car's been 153, I think. Yeah. In a quarter, so, and that, that's spinning. So I mean, he'll gain a little bit, but like. Right. So that's what I got to look forward to. Yeah, because C four six seven is gonna be the same, same. Same almost exact setup. Like I mean, if it wouldn't have, if it wouldn't have broke traction, I would have hung with Johnny for a couple seconds. So the trick I was trying to do is, you with the tenor radio, you can floor it, let off the accelerator, and go back down very quickly. Yeah. And what it'll do is it'll drop the transmission down to the lowest gear possible. So at 50, that would have been probably third. I'd have to look at the footage again. He but said he left out a third, but I'm sure yeah. the lowest is probably second. Right. But anyway, it didn't work out for me. 
It did not. Definitely. There was about a two second delay there. Could have been better. Yeah. I should have just put it down, used the paddles. But no, I tried to be smooth and tried to do something fancy and it didn't work out. That was me, dude. I got greedy and brake boosted. I know. Freaking blew them off. Wow. I spun all the way through second. Yeah, yeah. Like, I got very close to jumping. <laughs> I'm curious to see it from your angle because where you didn't hit, you'll probably have got that. Right. So. And fun. that was fun, though. That was a good time. Yeah, we're going to it again yeah for sure so, so that was a gate pressure for you or you turned it to lock that was eight and a half pounds so i'd say gate pressure being you were dead nuts is what i would think you yeah. would come around me eventually yeah the lowest amount i can go to is about seven pounds so to do six and a half seven pounds which is about high sixes maybe 700 horsepower with yeah. with 93 or i'm sorry 85 yeah, yeah. um you're probably back a little more than that so that that run was probably about 800 nah 750, 750. I think eight and a half pounds. This car peaks about 800, but I mean, you know. At 11 and a half pounds out of this car, I think it's about 850, maybe nine if we're if we're a little greedy. Well, Johnny said on his and on 10 pounds, he says it's mid 800. So I'm thinking you're underestimating oh, the Oh, really? That's what he said. Because he's got like the same size turbos, basically. He's got actually smaller turbos. Right, it was uh, 6265. 6265, that's what it was. 6467. Correct. So mine's probably about a 750 run on that I'm one. I'm thinking yours is between 750 and 800 because if mine is making 800 all the time, yeah. you passed me fairly decently. I wouldn't say, you know, like you blistered me, but I mean, it was constant. Right. It wasn't like, or, you know, it wasn't like an inch at a time. It was just like you were just coming around me just like you passed somebody on the highway. Yeah. Well, it was 145 on my speedo, so probably actual speed with the taller tire around 150. We got to figure out the the um, fueling issue that I've got going on. Yeah. Learn the controller, kind of a new setup to me. Uh, we got it back running not that long ago. The virus hit and then we've kind of been at a stop, but put valve springs in it, did this, that, and the other, but it's a sleeper kit, honestly. Um, boost controller and we can turn it up. That's the good thing about turbos, you can turn them up and turn them down. And that was unfortunately turned down for that run. I'm so excited to see it though when it gets turned up. I know, I want to turn it up so bad. <laughs> I want to turn it up That's so why bad. I don't have a boost control. I, it's so, I it's just, so tempting. I don't even have the chance. Car runs well to be turned down. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen you and Johnny get a little better hit just to see the difference because. I think if we were on the same boost left, if I left it on 10, that would have been fun. I think it's dead nuts. Yeah. Probably whoever hooks, really. Right. That's crazy. It's hilarious. But brother, I'm probably going to head out. All right, man. I've got a, about a two and a half hour minimum drive. So yeah, it was great getting with you, though, man. All right, man. Missed hanging out for sure. Yeah. We have to get together more often. Yes. <laughs> Thank you.